Another cool example of the uh, way they do the alignment modes now is this is full alignment mode, so like it won't let your uh, bed go, they won't clip through anything. But if I push it against one of these walls, it'll align perfectly flat with whatever wall. You can then do partial alignment mode where you can kind of see how it's kind of pivoting on the corners there. It's not allowing it to clip, but it's not instantly snapping it flat. Just like with this wall, it's dragging that corner along it, and the only time it's flush is when I'm flush with it. So if you want to be weird and have a diagonal bed. And then of course you have free place, which is what we're used to. Which is a little finicky, because again, it doesn't want you clipping with anything. So you kind of have to do some rust-like shenanigans. Or you can just really easily smack it against the wall. Bam. Done. Um, I'm not going to pick it up and show you because it's cooking my meat that I need to not starve to death. But um, the fire here worked the same way. I just smacked it against the wall. But when it was first in that... Uh, alignment mode, it wanted to go to the center of the foundation, just like the mortar and pestle did. So, um, it'll probably take a minute to figure out, but it's not so bad. Then while we're here, everything is by its recipe now, so like, if you wanted to, you could disable auto craft on the fire, and then manually craft 32 cooked meat and that would save you wood because it only used the amount needed to cook the 32 meat. But it also shows us the fuel time, which is 24 minutes, so I don't really care if it runs. But that extends for everything through the other forges. So now there's no guesstimating, which is nice. 